Our next speaker is a person who has served us so very, very well for the past how many years? five years. She served in virtually every office. She's been, I don't know if she's ever been Sergeant at Arms, however. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, she's been Sergeant at Arms two times, she says. In addition to that, of course, she's been the secretary. She she hasn't been able, I don't think you've ever been able to knock treasure. Don Prue from the no treasurer treasure. position. <laughs> However, every other office she has held, she is our immediate past president. And tonight she is going to deliver a speech, the title of which is Freedom of Choice. Freedom of Choice. Please help me welcome Toastmaster Shirley Rowell. Woohoo! Fellow Toastmasters and guests, thank you so much for challenging me to step up and do this on the spot. You know, I was going to just choose the awe counter. But, you know, this is a choice, and we do have freedom of choice in everything in our life, except a couple of things. Anyway, I want to be able to share with you three different areas. Some of it's information, but I want you to know that it's only my opinion, only at my advice, and you have the freedom to choose. And I'm so proud that we're in the state of Florida where our governor allows us the freedom of choice. First thing I want to talk about is our party. Now, we can't get together this year, but we are. Some of us are selecting whether they want to go out in person or not. We are going to meet next Wednesday at Marlowe's Tavern, and we are going to have fun instead of a gift exchange. We are going to do table topics. So anyone that is coming will have to think up an idea, a couple of them, questions, and we're going to go around and guess what? You're going to earn, we're going to have two different winners and they're going to get a big prize. So if you want to come out, fine. If you don't, that's fine too. We will miss you. But there's a certain amount of people that do want to get together, and we would love to see you. So I'm going to put out, no questions, I'm in a speech. <laughs> you can ask questions later. So uh, that's one thing about freedom of choice and whether you want to come or not. Uh, I just got distracted. Okay. We have another thing for freedom of choice, and that is worth thinking about going hybrid. So we don't know all the details yet. So there is a blueprint for doing hybrid. And I would say that some of us want to learn how to speak in front of people instead of a little screen here. Not all, but we could wear masks and only take your mask off when you're up front speaking. We will still have Zoom, and I wanna challenge you to learn the Zoom program a little bit more to relieve the couple of people that are doing it all the time. So that's a choice. If you want to get a little more into technology, it would be awesome. So how are we gonna grow? Next year, it is, right around the corner. You have freedom of choice of how you want to grow in this club. Instead of just hanging out, what would you challenge yourself to do? Now, my challenge is January, in first uh, meeting in January, I am going to give my final speech for effective coaching, finish that, and then I'm going to do my last project and earn my DTM. But you know what? There's another choice I just made. I'm going to do improv. So you might see me go a little off the bar and try to bring some joy and do a little more vocal variety and just learn to speak more. I always go by the values of um, Toastmasters, which is integrity, respect, service, and excellence. And I want to work on that excellence and respect. So if you choose to get out among people this holiday, just be safe, do what you need to do because you're responsible for your health 
and the health of others. And if you want to get together, do it with some wisdom. So I just wanted to share that with you. And if you have any questions, since I don't have the green light yet, I will open this up to a question. And I seen Don had one. It, was, it wasn't really a question. You had said that our Christmas party or what holiday party was next week. I believe it's the following week. It's the 22nd. I stand right. corrected. So don't just, come next week because we won't be there. <laughs> I'm rushing. I'm rushing it, I guess. I, so it'll I know, be the I, 22nd. And so, okay. and you can bring your spouse um, and just be there. But we're not going to do gifts. We're going to actually receive one for doing table topics. I will be uh, running the table topics um, and we'll kind of need a timer. But we'll work those details out later. The other Are there thing any other questions? The other thing I wanted to mention was, didn't you want to make sure everybody let you know who was coming so that you could? Yes, right now we have nine people signed up for sure. So I'm, I'm shooting for 12, but, you know, if, uh, if you uh, want to sign up, you call me or let me know. And I'll make sure you have, we have reservations for you. Okay, and so... Just remember, okay, another question. Come on, yeah, hurry I got, up. I got a quick one. I just yeah. um, I was thinking that you were saying that people needed to bring questions with them to ask others. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Because we're going to rotate, pick them out of a hat. Those that want to participate, will pick them out of a hat. And then the next person will, you know, will follow along that way. Is there you're welcome to come. Yeah. certain number of questions or it could be however many we'll figure want. it out yeah just for, i would say bring three questions okay i'm a maybe okay. for now yeah okay so that is my little speech on freedom of choice just your toastmaster well, we're gonna do a ron round robin evaluation of shirley Rao's speech and if everybody remembers she kind of it was what they call a back help pocket speech sort of she just stretched out a uh, educational moment and I think she did an excellent job does anybody have any comments or suggestions about her presentation tonight please raise your hand oh sure okay John go ahead well Shirley, I was impressed with the fact that you were able to organize from the thoughts that you had for an educational session and be able to put them into a five to seven minute speech. You chose a title, Freedom of Choice. You carried the title through, through the speech itself. You gave us some thoughts on how we could exercise the freedom of choice and also you did a wonderful job of advocating that all of us have an opportunity to come to the holiday party, not next Wednesday, but the Wednesday after next, as Don Prue pointed out. I thought it was well done. I thought that, that it was certainly timely. It may not have been as smooth as you would like it to be if you had had a couple of days to prepare. Nevertheless, you did it. You didn't prepare. You showed up just as Mark suggested, and you delivered a speech which was certainly interesting, informative, and very much appreciated by me because I wanted to have more than one speech while I was the Toastmaster of the evening. Well done, Shirley. 